Hey, welcome back. Today we will take a look at the Mesh Transition Material Free version, which is finally available to download and it is free to use. We also have a paid version, which I will be talking about in the end of this video. But if you just want to make a transition when you change colors on your configurator, this is the right place. So if you like this video, please remember to subscribe and like and leave your comments so I can understand what kind of content you guys want next, okay? So let's dive in. The mesh transition material, it's pretty easy to use. So let me just review what is happening here in the scene. And if you check the readme, I have some instructions here on how to use. Again, it is pretty simple. But let's review the project that we have so far. So everything starts with the index and we just have the scene component. The scene component, it is rendering basically everything we can see here. So we have the overlay, which is responsible for everything related to the interface. And the overlay component, it is this one. Uh, so it is basically JSX rendering HTML with some classes. Uh, and what I'm doing here, I'm mapping through all of the colors from the color array that I defined in the store using Vautio. And when we click on the color, I set the selected color to the current color that was clicked. So basically this is giving me this kind of control. I can see the selected color when I click, but of course nothing happens in the model itself, not yet. We will implement that. Uh, after that, we have the canvas component rendering our model, of course. Then we have the studio component responsible for all of the controls, all of the lights and all of the effects that you can see here, like all of the light effects, not the effects itself. So let's take a look at the studio component. So we have the color for the background, the fog color, because we have a fog to vanish the floor into the infinity like that. Then we have one single directional light just to be able to have this shadow here that we have in the component. And we have the environment component creating the environment for this scene. So for example, if I change this to something else, you will see that everything it is really bright. This is of course not what we want, but just to give you an idea on how you can control, for example, the intensity if you want to change. And of course you can do a lot of things. You can change the rotation of the environment. Uh, you can, for example, use this as a background for your scene. And then, of course, it breaks the illusion that I was trying to achieve. But if you want this instead, you can use this kind of setting for the environment component, which is great. But in our case, I will keep this as a studio environment. Then next, we have, of course, the Lamborghini. And the Lamborghini model is receiving the transition color as a uh, property from the use snapshot. So again, using Vautio, this is acting some sort of global context. And I'm basically grabbing the snapshot of the value for the selected color and transferring this to the Lamborghini component. And that's why this Lamborghini is receiving this transition color as a parameter. And then we will be using it right now. Then we have the floor component and the floor, it is like it seems to be just a floor. We have a circle mesh and then we have a mesh reflector material with all of the properties to get this beautiful reflection on the floor, which is great. This is one of my favorite, favorite components inside React Tree Fiber Dry because it makes so easy to create this kind of thing that should be illegal but yeah then we have the effects and of course the effects is the post processing effects and in this case i'm just using the bloom uh, and the vignette i have double bloom because i want one for the entire scene 
which is create a kind of a glowing effect in the entire scene. And then I have another one that it's a little bit stronger for the lights. So this one and this one here. And I think it looks great. Uh, and yeah, finally, let's take a look at the Lamborghini component. So the Lamborghini component, as you can see, is just a model with a bunch of meshes inside. This is, by the way, again from Sketchfab, a great model for the alien, alien kind of. Uh, so the link is here if you want to check the, the creator. And again, I'm grabbing the transition color here and all of the props. I changed some of the parameters for some of the meshes manually because I wanted to. But that, that's it. That's pretty simple. And all that you have to do, for example, if you want to use that transition color uh, in a simpler way, here we have the mesh receiving the material for the body. And all that we have to do is to create a material color and then we transfer the material color as the transition color being received. And as you can see, it works. See, when I click, I have the color being applied to the model. But of course, it applies the color immediately. And in this specific case for car configurators and for, I would say, most of my projects, I don't want to use the color this way, being applied at the moment that I click in the color itself. I want a beautiful transition between colors. That's why I created the mesh transition material. So the way you use it, it's pretty simple. I will comment out the color and I will remove the closing tag for the mesh. And then I will place the transition material inside. And I will also comment out the original material. And this will make this mesh now uses my mesh transition material. And again, I'm passing the transition color as the transition color being received by this component. And I'm setting all of the parameters that a mesh physical material would use uh, in a normal use case. When we do it now, when I change colors, as you can see, we have a beautiful transition between them, which is great. And it looks pretty seamless with 3GS. And let's take a look at the mesh transition material free source code so you can understand what it's happening under the hood. Again, it is pretty simple. All that I'm doing, I'm receiving the props from the material and then I'm forwarding all of the props to the mesh physical material. By the way, if you want to change this to something else, you can do. For example, if I want to use here mesh basic material instead, I can do it. So as you can see now, the transition still happens, but we don't have any kind of reflection because this material doesn't support reflections and all of the properties that match physical material. It is more suitable for a car kind of material. But if you want to use, you can just change this line and if it works exactly the same. So again, all of the properties that I'm passing here will be received by this material. And then I'm spreading all of the props here. So you can change the roughness. You can change anything on that material. And that will create a new version of that material with all of the properties. And I'm creating a ref here so I can use the dumping feature. So we have a use frame and every frame we have a damp color and I'm receiving, uh, I'm getting the current color and I'm making a transition to the new color that was passed by these props. And then I'm also applying a transition time because you can change this property as well. So for example, here, the transition time is 0 0.4 seconds. If I want this to make in like a one second transition, I just changed this parameter and now the color we will take longer to change. See? So from orange to green, I can see the transition happening.
So maybe this is the kind of effect that you were trying to achieve and this can be useful. So I turned this into a parameter so you can change. But yeah, it is that simple. Basically, that's it. And for example, what you can also do, let's say you want to make this glass material. So now, just by setting the transmission as true, as you can see, the car is almost like a glass kind of effect. And then you can still change the color the same way and then it's still working as expected. But now it is glassy like. Let's change some other properties here. For example, the index of refraction to be 1.8 or 9. And let's also change the thickness to something else. Yeah, so now I increase the thickness. And again, it looks even more like a glass car. You can see the internal parts. Let's make the thickness less intense. So you can see a little, little bit better. But yeah, again, the mesh transition material is just creating the transition between the colors. You can still use all of the properties of the material this way. And basically you can even create your own if you want, which is pretty handy. So let me undo all of this so we can bring back the car with the reflections. It works great. The performance is also amazing. It does not affect it by the change of the color in the transition mode. But sometimes you might need something different. You want, for example, a fancier kind of transition. That's why we have the paid version. And if you click here, you will be directed to my Patreon page where you can buy this component. And this is the paid version. If you want to see this in action, you can click here. And this is the paid version. It, it works exactly the same way, the same way you can use. But the difference when you change colors, look at that. You can see a fancier, more engaging kind of color transition. And I'm using this kind of color transition for my classic car project. If you want to take a look. So in my classic car project, again, I'm using the same effect. So when you go into the colors, and you click and drag the color, you can see the same effect and it looks gorgeous. It is just so unique. And if you click, I do a different transition. So just by clicking, we have this gradient kind of transition. But if you click and drag, then we have a different color transition. So you can be really fancy and play with the parameters and use in a very unique way this is a very powerful component. So probably in the next video, I will review with you how to use the mesh transition material paid version. Uh, but I think uh, you have also the documentation. So if you go here, you can check the documentation. This is the way you can use it. It is pretty, pretty simple to use. And you can change the kind of the material that you want by something else. For example, we have three kinds of effects. So we have this one, which is kind of a burst explosion. We also have this one, which is mimicking the one that I show, just showed you. And then we have the transition with the gradient. So the paid version comes with three kinds of effect, but with that in, in the source code will be provided. So you can even change the kind of the material. You can change the shaders if you want. So what I'm, what I'm providing you is a 
way you can customize your own components and your own materials and create endless materials basically so i hope you like it please again subscribe to the channel uh, leave a comment let me know your thoughts what do you want to learn next thank you very much for watching see you next time bye bye